Florida has always been a favorite destination for people, especially retirees. You think you can keep us out of Florida? We're moving in lock, stock, and barrel. <laughs> We're going to be in a pool. We're going to be in a clubhouse. We're going to be all over that shuffleboard court. And I dare you to keep me up. The past three years, Florida has seen the largest influx of people moving to the state because of the pandemic. People can work from home and they decided let's go move to warmer weather, packing up their families and heading down to Florida. But is the Sunshine State what it's cracked up to be? I get it. People want to live the Florida lifestyle. They want to be in consistent warm weather. They want to be able to go to the beautiful beaches there and they want to have their year round tan. But there are a lot of cons to living to Florida, and I want to point those out to you today. I know I don't live there. I don't live there. I visited many times. I've had family that lived there. I had friends that live there now. But look, I'm here to give you some information to help you make an educated decision on whether or not Florida is the right state for you to move to. Before I get into this, I just want to reiterate, no hate to Florida or my fellow Floridians. I still have friends that live down there. And like I said, I've had family that lived in Florida. It's a great state to visit. It really is. It is beautiful. But, you know, just like with anywhere, there are some cons and there are some things you need to consider whether or not this is going to be a good fit for you. So again, please don't hate on me. I'm not hating on you. Hey! I'm just sharing information. I'm sharing facts. And if you are watching this from Florida, I want to know, how's it going for you? Like these things that I'm pointing out, like, do they really happen? Is it really an issue? Like, how have you dealt with it? I'd really would love to know that. And it would also help educate the other people who are watching this video. So feel free to comment. Getting into this list, the number one thing on my list is the high cost of homeowners insurance. This has become a really big issue, especially in this past year. Now with Hurricane Ian that happened last September, there were roughly $60 billion in losses in Florida because of that devastation from Ian. Can you imagine? And for all those people that, that survived that storm, God bless you. That was so devastating, especially for, for me to watch. I was just so sad for these people and the lives that were lost. It's just, I, oh my God, I can't even imagine. So as a result of that, the homeowner's insurance costs have risen. Did you know that Floridians now pay 30% more than the national average in homeowner's insurance? Yes, they do. I've been watching other YouTube creators, realtors that are in Florida talking about this very issue with the high insurance costs. And it's really having a major impact on people living in Florida. It's affecting their cost of living. If you're considering moving there, get an idea of what you're going to be paying on your homeowner's insurance and make sure that's going to fit your budget because it's going to be a major sticker shock to you going from wherever you're living in this country to, to moving to Florida. You could be paying up to 30% more than what you're used to paying make sure it's going to fit your budget. The number two reason why you shouldn't move to Florida is there is a higher cost of living, believe it or not. In certain parts of the state, especially where the tourist destinations are, like Orlando, the housing prices, the property taxes, they tend to be a little bit higher in those areas. So think about that. Now, home prices right now, according to Redfin, the median home price in Florida for March of 2023 was around $400,000. And that price went up. It went up 3.2% year over year. So the prices are still increasing in Florida. In some cases, there are homes that are for sale in Florida that are almost as much as here in New Jersey. Uh-huh. So if you're thinking you're just going to sell your house in the Northeast, pack up and then, you know, get a cheaper house in Florida, think again, do your research. Do your research on whatever towns you're living in and see what those home prices are because the last three years, the prices have gone up quite a bit. Number three, the crowded tourist areas. If you're considering living in Orlando in central Florida, be prepared because good old Disney brings in a lot of people. And during peak season, that area gets super congested with people, with traffic, and yeah, I don't know if I'd want to deal with that. If you're coming from an area where there's always a lot of congestion and traffic, Florida may not be for you. Now, I'm not saying the whole state is like this, but in peak season, those tourist areas are going to have a large influx of people. So if that's something you don't want to deal with, Florida may not be for you. The number four reason why you should not move to Florida, the insects and wildlife. Yeah. Have you seen a palmetto bug? 
Oh, dear God. When I have visited Florida and stayed at relatives' homes and I've seen those bugs, oh, I still get nightmares. I'm not a bug person at all. I mean, we got cave crickets up here in New Jersey. They're kind of nasty, but a palmetto bug? Yeah, no thank you. And let's talk about those alligators in Florida, shall we? When I'm on Facebook and I'm seeing my friends and fellow real estate agents down in Florida and they're posting pictures of these alligators in their backyard, no, that's okay. I'll, I'll take my herd of deer in my backyard and the groundhogs and the chipmunks and the rabbits. I'll take those over an alligator. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Are you serious? How do you guys live with those alligators? If you don't want to like take the risk of living among alligators, um, yeah, I don't think Florida is going to be for you. The number five reason why you should not move to Florida is the high humidity and the heat. Summer in Florida is brutal. I'm baking like a Georgian cheeser. It's so hot here. People I know that live there, from what I understand, their whole life is during the summer, they go from their air conditioned house right to their air conditioned car and to their air conditioned destination. They are hardly outside at all during the summer months. Now, if you're into outdoor activities, which, you know, people are moving to Florida for because they want to, you know, play tennis, you know, go swimming, go to the beach, you know, do other outdoor things. Summertime is not the time to do it unless you do it really early in the day. And then you can spend the rest of the day in air conditioning. Cool in here, boy. For the rest of the summer, we can live inside the refrigerator. Yeah, that's going to be your life in Florida during the summer months. If you can't tolerate that, it, I wouldn't be considering moving to Florida personally. I mean, I can't. I can't take the heat. So I couldn't be able to do that. I know you're finding this inf information so captivating right now, learning all about why you should have moved to Florida. But could you do me a favor before you move on? Please like this video. That's all. Thank you. The number six reason why you should not move to Florida, the red tide. And you're like, why am I even bringing up the red tide? If you're moving to Florida for the purpose of being near a beach and you want to like go spend time on the beach, you have to understand that Florida gets this red tide. So what is red tide? Red tide is just a natural phenomenon. And what it is, it's an overgrowth of algae in the water. Just this past year, there was a red tide, but with a toxic algae that was plaguing the beaches. And what that was doing, it was actually killing a lot of marine life, and it was also harmful to humans. So you couldn't go in the water. I mean, I wouldn't go in the water anyway with regular red tide, but this toxic one can be really harmful. The frustrating thing is, is that the scientists cannot predict when a red tide is going to happen. So if you're prepared to go to the beach one day, you're going to spend a few days at the beach, only to find out you can't go on the beach because of red tide, that can be kind of annoying. So consider that as well. If you're there for the beach, red tide may be a big problem for you. The number seven reason why you should not move to Florida are there are some limited job opportunities. If you work in the tourism and hospitality industry, Florida's the place for you. That's probably the number one industry there. Next would be real estate and development because, you know, they're constantly building because everyone's moving there. And the next one would be financial institutions. There are some larger financial institutions that are located in Florida. So if you're in that industry, Florida would be a good option for you. If you're considering moving there, really thoroughly do your research on what companies in your field are in Florida. Because if the job's not there, obviously you're not going to be able to live there. You know, unless you want to change careers and you want to be a character at Disney World, you could always do that. I'm singing in the rain. Yes. Number eight, the traffic congestion. I've been hearing this a lot since the influx of people moving down here. The congestion is getting pretty darn bad. During the winter months, when you have the snowbirds, these are people who, you know, the elderly, who people who are retired, who don't want to live in Florida full time, but they go to Florida for the winter months. It gets even crazier during that time. And anybody from Florida that's watching, please share with me your experience. I'd love to know what it's really like down there. I've been down there during the winter months when the snowbirds are there. And that was years ago. 
So I can only imagine how bad it is now, now that you have such an increase in population there, the traffic and congestion's gotten pretty bad. So take this into consideration if you're thinking about moving, if you're living in an area right now where you're already dealing with traffic and congestion, Florida may not be the best choice for you. Reason number nine, why you should not move to Florida, their education system. Now, Florida has had that reputation for many, many years. It did not have the best public school education system. Now, university-wise, they have some great universities and colleges down there. But for those little kiddos from kindergarten through high school, they've had their challenges. Now, currently, Florida is ranked 26th in the nation. Not bad. It's not bad. I think it was a lot worse prior years. Now, but apparently there's been some funding issues for the lower ranking schools and not sure of what's being done about that. Again, any Floridians chime in, let me know what's happening with that. I know, I personally know of people that moved to Florida, lived there for a period of time and ended up moving out because they felt the public schools were not that great. If education is important to you for your children, I would really seriously think about this before you make moves, move your whole family to Florida. You don't want to move them there only to move back out because you're not happy with the schools. If you have a family, you really want to research the school districts and obviously research the area you want to move to. You want to make sure that's a good quality education that'll be provided to your kids. Last on my list, coming in at number 10, another reason why you should have moved to Florida, the natural disasters, the hurricanes. Like I said in the beginning, I started off the list. The hurricanes in recent years have caused high homeowners insurance costs. But to live through a hurricane to begin with, oh my God, I don't, I can't do it. Floridians are used to it. They even have hurricane parties. I've heard that, you know, good for you. You know, you got to <laughs> make lemonade out of lemons, right? If they're handed to you, what are you going to do? Have fun with it. Let's get this party started. But these hurricanes are pretty dangerous. Did you know hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th? Yeah, so that's like six months. Half the year, it's hurricane season in Florida. Now, mind you, majority of the hurricanes do occur in, say, later August into September. They've even gone into October sometimes. And Florida has seen some pretty massive devastation from hurricanes in recent years. If this is going to be an issue for you, I would not be moving there. I would not personally like to have that stress of knowing half of the year I have to start worrying about hurricane season and that we're going to get struck by a hurricane and I'm going to either personally get hurt or my property is going to be damaged. I can't do it. I can't do it. Sorry, guys. So listen, again, if you're from Florida, let me know. How do you handle that? How do you handle that stress? I'm sure it's just a way of life for you now. And if you board up your windows, you board, you know, do all the things that you can do to protect your home when these storms are coming. But God, how do you do it? I, I just, I would really love to know because I don't know if I can live with that. So as always, I am here to provide you with information to help you make an educated decision on buying or selling your home. And if you want to know 10 reasons why you should not move to New Jersey, Check this one out too. We got some doozies on that list too. Thank you for watching me today to get your dose of real estate reality. My name is Jackie Baker and I will see you next time.